There was no sponsorship for this video, I purchased everything myself. I have used Microsoft Read Aloud, rather than my real voice, so you can clearly understand what is being said. So apologies for the American accent and slightly robotic sounding voice in this video. The last few years haven't been great, but at least they gave me chance to save up some money so I could upgrade my PC. The final part, an RTX 3060 Ti Founders Edition, arrived yesterday. I have been running a GTX 1060, 6GB for many years and it was beginning to show its age, especially when running above 1080p. I've been biding my time and buying components when they were on offer, so now I have a 1TB NVMe hard drive, BenQ 4K HDR monitor, Asus Tough B660 motherboard, 32GB of crucial DDR4 3000MHz RAM, Intel 12400F CPU, a Colink Citadel mesh case and finally an RTX 3060 Ti which I got for MSRP directly from NVIDIA. The RTX 3060 Ti is still selling at much higher prices everywhere else, so I definitely advise checking out NVIDIA's site if you are looking for a graphics card in the UK. I didn't get chance to properly benchmark my old system before upgrading the CPU due to illness, but for the GPU I have. Bear in mind these tests are very unscientific, I haven't changed any other settings except from installing the GPU, but the PC was used for various tasks in between tests. I also did not do a fresh install or optimize services. But the average user can hopefully still get an idea of the improvement they can expect from just plugging in a new RTX 3060 Ti. My system specifications for benchmarking are Windows 11 Insider Build 22H2 BenQ EW3280U 4K UHD HDR Monitor Intel Core i5 12400F CPU Asus Tough Gaming B660M Plus Wi-Fi D4 Motherboard 32GB Crucial Ballistics 3000MHz DDR4 Memory and a Western Digital Blue 1TB M.2 PCI Express NVMe hard drive. All game tests were run using the game's Ultra preset and with VSync switched off. The first set of results are from my old MSI GeForce GTX 1060 6GB OC. Strange Brigade ran at 52 frames per second. Forza Horizon 4 ran 55 frames per second. Horizon Zero Dawn ran at an average of 48 frames per second. Forza Horizon 5 ran at 33 frames per second. 3D Mark achieved 4,452 points in the Time Spy test. And here are the second set of results. These are from my new RTX 3060T I Founders Edition. Strange Brigade ran at an incredible 162 frames per second. Forza Horizon 4 ran 148 frames per second. Horizon Zero Dawn ran an average of 110 frames per second. Forza Horizon 5 ran at 89 frames per second. 3D Mark achieved 10,725 points using the same time spy test. The 3060 is a pretty big improvement over the 1080 and definitely a good purchase. I'm also certain that I can push the system further by overclocking my RAM, enabling resizable bar and BIOS, and tweaking other settings. But that will only gain a few frames per second. I have one surprising result, and that is DaVinci Resolve. Its performance doesn't seem to have improved, rendering seems slower as does preview, despite using 100% GPU and around 30% CPU, maybe I need to change some settings or just reinstall it. That's the end of my major PC upgrades, I could still do with some more external hard drives and a gaming NVMe, but those can wait. For now it's time to enjoy the new speed and play some games. A brief mention for the CPU. Here are two 3D Mark results that show the difference between my old Intel Core i5-6400 processor and my new i5-12400F. 3D Mark is a gamer's benchmark, so the results don't really show what a huge improvement just upgrading my CPU made. I did gain a few FPS in games, making some unplayable games actually playable. But the real boost was with the responsiveness of my system. Which was amazing. No lag while multitasking, apps loading instantly etc. On my Core i5-6400, 3D Mark achieved 4033 points. And a month later running on my i5-12400F, 3D Mark got 4445 points. 
Also something to bear in mind is that without the CPU upgrade all the results in the benchmarking section would have been much lower. The i5-12400F and RTX 3060 Ti are a good match that bring out the best in each other. This video was made to accompany a blog post on my website so please check that out too, you can find the link below.